go. Good morning and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. First thing is first, of course, we got the beep and there is only two days left, about 48 hours left to enter for the Jeep giveaway. If you wanna win a Jeep, all you gotta do is go to InChainDesigns.com. Every five bucks you spend is an entry. You can spend as much or as little as you like and uh, we will be picking a winner very, very soon. Here we have a uh, HB McClure van. Oh yeah. I forget where I was. That guy just literally uh, wanted to say hello. So that's the <laughs> that's the story on that. InShaneDesigns.com. Every five bucks you spend is an entry to win the Jeep. About 48 hours left at 11.59 p.m. on the 31st. That's when the giveaway ends. And please don't wait until 11 <laughs> until 11.59 to order. That's what happened in the last Corvette giveaway. And then we had people like, because the traffic on the website was so high, people didn't get their confirmation until like, 12.01 or 12.05 and they were like, oh, am I entered or whatnot? So please don't wait until the last minute. And I sympathize because I'm exactly the same way. I procrastinate everything as much as I possibly can. Uh, but get your orders in now. And uh, we got lots of cool merch on there for you. And we're gonna drive the Jeep right now. The Beep is definitely awesome. We got 35 inch tires on it. We got a four inch lift, 9,500 pound winch on the front, steel bumpers, steel fenders. Uh, we got LED lighting, pods, a light bar, and the headlights themselves. You are going to get brand new wheels uh, when you win the Jeep. We already got brand new ones. Here's one in the back. Um, because they did get a little rusty and scra <laughs> scratched up when we took it off-roading. Um, so don't worry, you are going to get new ones. And a lot of people were commenting that, you know, you would want the old ones as well to go wheeling with, and you can absolutely have them. You can have all the wheels. I think there will be uh, six or seven in total um, because not all of them are damaged. But yeah, you can have the old wheels. You can have whatever you want. The best part, though, by far is it is a six-speed manual, so it's a ton of fun to drive. And if you win it, you're gonna love it. It's also great to pop the roof off on a hot day like today. Right now I'm dropping off about eight boxes of knives for you guys on the website. Everybody, the knives are just a massive seller. You guys love them. Now I trust that everybody's using them for the right purpose, but yeah, the knives are up there. We have four different styles and uh, get them while they're hot. Just so you can see them right here, this is the Marpat knife. Uh, this is the Desert Camo and the Olive Draft. Just in case you somehow don't know yet, this is all the merch we have available for you. We got the Hey Buddy shirt. We got the Beep Grill shirt with the bullets. We got the OD Green Street Speed 717 Tattered Star shirt. Got an American flag shirt. Old school stuff from the Corvette giveaway over there. Double Camo hat, 717 hat, old school shirt. Etsy Ross flags, gun stickers, flag stickers over here. ZR1 prints that I'm going to sign right now. Right there is the other poster. Last but not least, we've got the key tags up top. Each one only 10 bucks, a cheap entry, a cheap way to win the beep. And uh, we got all kinds of different ones. Again, only two days left to enter in chaindesigns.com. Every five bucks you spend is an entry. As you can see, we are a uh, deep in the GT500 and that is because we are about to swap out the cold air intake. I raced Bobby the other day. Both manuals though. Yeah, yep. So I don't know. I mean, I think I, I think pretty clearly the GT500 is going to take the win, but it'll be interesting to see. No, man, I've been brushing up on my manual. You've been out in the game for a little while. I like, know. In high school, you don't, like, you don't ever lose it, I'm assuming. Uh, I mean, you. I feel like you need to keep practicing. You definitely get rusty. Maybe I'll miss a shift.
bad joke. It takes me a long time to catch you. Definitely a surprise. I thought the GT500 was gonna be a lot faster. I mean, you figure the same car with like a hundred more horsepower. I mean, the first runs like smoked me, but the, the last two was, I mean, it was good. All right. Banging yeah. gears, dude. It Rent was fun. Did all right. It was fun. The rent-a-car. We were able to come away from that race with a win. Um, not really surprising, even though, yeah, I actually thought it was gonna be a lot uh, different than it was. Like the 5.0 the kept up really well. When I gave him a car length, I mean, it took me a long time to catch up, like a long time. But more importantly than all that, I had a lot of fun banging gears. Uh, the GT500 is a really fun car to drive. And I haven't been driving it a whole lot, but I don't know, I really don't know why I should be because it's a great time. Autos are definitely faster, but there is fun in shifting yourself, especially against another manual car. Like I wouldn't want to race a manual against an automatic really, but racing a manual versus a manual, that is fun. There's always a chance that your opponent might mess up with a manual, but I mean, that happens in autos too, as I've seen many times in races. You know, you just really have to know how to drive, whether it's a manual or auto, you have to know your car really well. Um, and that banging noise you hear, you might hear is my exhaust because I don't have the rear section on yet. I know it sounds a little poopy, but the rest of the exhaust should be here on Monday. And it was really fun. The GT500 did win against uh, the modified 5.0, but I feel like it needs a little bit more power. As you can see, more power is what we are going to add. Now they say this is good for about 15 to 25 horsepower. And, uh, excuse me. They say it's good for about 20 to 25 horsepower or 15 to 25, somewhere in there. And the last time I tested a cold air intake, it actually added the power before and after on the dyno. It added the power that they advertised. If we do pick up, you know, 15 to 25 and then another 15 to 25 on the exhaust plus uh, the weight difference, 40 pounds off the exhaust, that is a difference you are going to notice when you're driving. And I feel like after this, we're going to have to rerun Bobby and see if the car is really any faster. Should be 10, 15 horsepower. You're not gonna notice a whole lot, but 40, 40 is enough to feel a difference in the seat. New intake is going to be a lot louder with regards to the blower here and the stock unit, believe it or not, actually muffles, it deliberately muffles that supercharger whine. So the new intake is gonna let that fly, let that freedom out and you're really gonna hear the supercharger, which is what I want. You know, I love that high pitched whine. I can see why they keep it quiet from the factory. Not everybody's gonna want that but I definitely do. You know, hearing one of those cars whine down the road as you're getting on it is, I think, great. So that should be cool as well. Boogie the Pirate, he's got one eye. Unfortunately, he had to have his eyeball removed recently, but he's an 11-year-old bulldog, so we're happy to have him. Yeah, buddy, you're a good boy. You're a good boy, buddy. If you wanna follow him and the other bulls on Instagram, check him out at three bulls in a pod. It'll be fairly easy. There are a few attachments though you have to worry about. We should be able to remove the little mouthpiece from the throttle body there. Uh, then the breather hose, then a little tube over there, not sure what that is. And then unbolt uh, the housing from the car, the mass airflow sensor, and I think that's it. I always thought these were a little interesting because on a GM vehicle, you know, it's one big circular throttle body. Ford always used a little double one. And then like you could get a big oval from like Ford Racing as an upgrade. Uh, but it's weird. They use two little ones rather than one big one. And then on the Coyote though, the new engine, they switched over to one, I believe. I'm not sure why they did that on the 4.6 and the 5.4 and some other engines. But I guess they had a reason. I put it downstairs in the basement, you know, my workout room. Yeah, yeah. I, I got, got another one down there. Yeah, I got this. I just put this one down there. That's nice. And uh, I thought, oh, well, you know what? If you want that one, you you can have it. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, the C8. No problem. Very cool. Yeah. But you don't like it. I, you know, it looks. You okay. don't like the back it's, end. It's, I, I really don't like the back end, and I think that it's because it's the base model. Uh huh. It's. Uh, not as wide. Yeah. And again, the combination of not being as wide, you know, it just, it, the back end just doesn't do anything for me at all. Um, <laughs> it's just not. Tell us how you really I'm, feel. I'm sorry. Rich yeah, saw it in I, person I, I and that's what he's saying. Uh, yeah. I, yep. Jeez. Uh, for all those of you that are really excited about this one, I, I hope you love it. But um, I was uh, less than uh, enthused. That's okay. You'll just wait for the C9. Yeah, that's it. There you go. That's it. But, uh, 
Yeah, that's the that's the that's the baby right there, the new one. I had a second one of those, uh -huh. and I went to put it up downstairs, and I was like, oh, there's two of them wrapped up in here. And I was like, eh, I'll see if Mike wants it. Of he course wants I want it. it. Of course want I it. want it. If you, if you don't want it, just trash it. I'm not gonna throw it out. I like it. probably maybe six inches, not as wide. Uh -huh. But I mean, that's I think the difference between the. You know, like so you it, think you think there's hope for you when the when the Z06 comes out, you might like it then. Yeah. If it's wider. Well, you and if like? they change that back end to two, if they make it wider, they pump the horsepower up. Probably. I totally agree. The exhaust bit. the exhaust tips are just no good. And that yeah, that back end. I, I'm telling you, when you look at it, it's all it looks like just plastic. It looks like a you think it's a Toyota or a Kia or something. Uh, um, Jeez. I, I'm, I, I'm ruthless over you. here. I don't want to taint you, but you know, I'm just saying. Looks neat. The, the, you don't think it was as loud either? Yeah, no. Tim said it was definitely not as loud. Oh, that was Tim? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you didn't recognize your own son was over in the background? You I didn't knew recognize his voice? Back. You know who I thought it was? Who? I thought it was Bobby. Bobby? So, I don't know. All right, but you know what? Wild. But yeah, you know what I thought you could do? If you didn't want the East Coast reveal down there at all, man, it was like blue. Blue sky. You Quick, can, you know. That's really crazy fast. That really is. To go faster than that, you have to start getting to a rail car. And we're, and yeah. You know, and top fuel dragster yeah, top style. Fuel drag, drag cars and stuff. I, mean, I mean, once you're in the sevens, like in the quarter, that that's like really, really fast. I mean, there's I've seen a couple cars like there's there's a few GTRs that can still like drive on the street. That runs sixes, but they run sixes? yeah, really? sixes are pretty rare though. Oh gosh, I didn't even realize that was possible. I, I really <laughs> didn't. Not, not. Yeah, for like a regular yeah, like street right, looking right, exactly. car. Something you'd be driving possibly on the street as well. Cold air intake is installed. Let's fire it up, see how it sounds. I don't think I mentioned this, but this is a Volant cold air intake, one of the best ones on the market. Great power gains, and I've had a good experience with them in the past, so I chose them for the GT500. Not a sponsored video, by the way. definitely looks a lot better than the stock one this one's all like frumpy and weird and the, I like the blue a lot better than the kind of yellowish gold but if you notice for only 2,000 miles on it this intake is really dirty so I'm not sure what that's about but uh, yeah the new one looks a lot nicer all right Bobby where are you at but it feels quicker and again that knocking noise is not from the, not from the intake it's from my exhaust but it feels pretty darn good it's a little hard to drive and film at the same time but we're gonna give her the sauce right here She was spinning. 
spinning. Wow! <laughs> this car is really, really fun to drive though. That's the surprising thing, is that I didn't, you know, being a big GT500 live or axle, I didn't think it would be that much fun to drive on like a back road, but it actually really is. Like it's a really nice, fun driver. It's just different, you know, it doesn't handle like a, like a McLaren or a Corvette, you know, it's, it's a different machine but it's really fun in its own way. And go. Oh my God. You can definitely hear that whine. I'm not sure if it's gonna show up on camera, but you can really hear it. Oh wow, that is tons of fun. We need a pulley and a tune and we'll see how fast we can make this sucker. Well, I guess that's all I got for you. Hope you enjoyed this upload. Hope you enjoyed the install and some racing. Tell Richie's crazy. I mean, yeah, the back end's not like perfect. The exhaust is, well, the exhaust tips kind of suck, but it's a good looking car. If you did enjoy this upload, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Take care and have a great night.